welcome back to the training on website design using um, WordPress um, in the previous training we were able to work on the dashboard and we will give all the front end that looks this way my large electronics store online store now in this um, tutorial we're gonna work on the team change the team and um, edit the team and customize the team so let's go appearance click on team we're going to change this team uh wordpress is made up of teams if you have the teams you worked on and um, the team presently we have here is um 2016 and is active that's the 2016 we have here about i always like working with a customizer so i will go and install customizer i click on add okay comes up i look for customizer searching okay this is my team favorite team click on install is installing It's still installing um, it's taking a bit time because of the okay it installed no, I didn't go let's do it again it's customizer okay it's installed now you are at the same time activate when you make it active it becomes the current team for your website i see customizer now is active now let's go back to our back end front end and refresh okay that's the team for customizer website we've got the team but is this okay but there are certain things we don't need in this um, team we're still going to customize it uh, this is the slide the featured pages okay let's reduce this so you see it properly okay you have something like this now we're going to go back to the back end and work on the team let's click on customize it's coming up okay this is you are customizing my large electronic store this is a customizer team is done by nicholas developed by nicholas the active team is customized they go to global setting these are the options under global setting the site name you can change the site name to elijah electronics okay the online store to online stores see large electronics online store this is the tagline this is the site title when you save it you go back to the front end and you click on it you watch the changes okay 
there's a change now let's go back to our back end and do some more changes have the logo I will put the logo later for the website let's choose um, the skin okay we prefer a blue color okay it has changed you save seven now let's go back um, on the google font we okay with what we have the social link you can include all this and let's just see what comes up now we put your facebook profile but we don't have any let's use the ash symbol Okay, I have the uh, symbol here. Okay, we may leave it and then on RSSD we remove it. Then we don't need all, we may not need this thing now. We click on save. Okay, seven. You go back and um, I'm okay with all the settings here, except the auto. I don't want to display an auto boss. I don't want to display an auto boss and check it and save. I go back and um, the smooth scroll. Let me check it. Yeah, it's okay. Go back, move back. then we get to the header uh, display the header layout um display top display this social link in header no i don't want social link to be in header display menu in a boss if i click this you see the change you see the change let's just click it and go and refresh You see this thing will go because we remove it on the rss and okay this is what we get this is what we get we've not added our menu let's go back to back end and display menu in a boss check okay then we okay with all these ones you just move back you can do the rest by yourself navigation menu we'll add the menu and under main menu select okay we've not named our menu we need to go back and create menu we need to go back and create menu let's just have uh, maybe duplicate this create menu first okay have it too so that we close one and see a part of the okay let's close this and go back to create menu first and click on menus uh, okay you click on create a new menu we are creating menu now under new menu can call it main menu okay it's there and you create okay it's coming up um the network internet is a bit slow and you check this we're gonna create menu okay call it main menu probably secondary menu um add to menu you add this to menu let me arrange let's arrange it 
I want the, this to be here I want this to be here okay well checked you click on save click on save and um, it's saved now let's go back to what we are doing before the customizer customizing the team let's refresh so that the menu we created will be displayed here will be affected in this page okay we it's coming up fine let's go back to our header and uh, navigation okay now we can now select main menu as main menu and um, is there you now okay main menu is main menu display secondary menu horizontally let's check it and see the effect okay it's coming up um okay the side menu we need the side menu which is this we want it horizontal and watch what will take place here um okay the menu on the right no we want it on the left we now click save okay save let's go to our front page and we click on it you see our menu is there our menu is there um we'll continue with the training for now i hope you do enjoy it thank you for watching